guys howdy howdy welcome back for another video two for tuesday yeah and, and uh, the third day of vlogmas yeah vlogmas. on my channel vlogmas. <laughs> so uh today we have gone to mcdonald's and we have gotten the mcrib that has been i don't know gone for i don't know however many years and now it's back <laughs> This is my first time having the McRib, so this should be an experience. Mine, I think mine too. If, if it's not the first time, it's the first time in 35 years or something. So. Yeah. So, let's see. It comes with obviously the ribs, barbecue sauce, pickles, and onions. The bun doesn't look terrible. No, it's just so much barbecue sauce. It's like a little, like, corn, I like don't the corn mealy kind of bun. I need a bib. Bun. And it's a sturdy bun. <laughs> yeah, Otherwise. it's like a tip. It's like... Like a hoagie bun. It's not like yeah. the typical buns they have here, like for the uh, chicken sandwiches or for the Otherwise, it would have been destroyed by now because oh, yeah. this thing is messy as hell. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. It smells good. It's spicy. Mm. Yeah, there's barbecue sauce and pickles and onion that you can taste. I can't taste I it. I can't really taste anything I just else. get so much barbecue sauce. Yeah. I don't taste the onion. I don't know if I got any pickle in that bite, but I got the onion. But it was kind of like, it's more there for a texture, a crunch. But there, whoop, but there is no uh, flavor from the onions. It's just so much barbecue sauce. Yeah. The meat's okay. Mm -hmm. It's a little gristly. Mine's okay. If you want to try mine. Like it's not bad. That's kind of like what I expected from you, the sandwich. But. Years ago, there was a, I think it was a lean cuisine or one of those diet type meals, 200, 300 calorie mm -hmm. meals that had like a rib thing. And that's mm -hmm. what it tastes like. Yeah. So it's like, it's tolerable for $7. What do you think? Like, uh, it's not bad, but. I think it's seven dollars is a lot. I think there's something better at Arby's. But what is that's it? That's like this kind of sandwich, like a barbecue well, like type a French of sandwich. Dip's like seven bucks. At, yeah. Yeah. And that reminds me of the, this bread reminds me of the French dip at Arby's. Yeah. Like, the bread's the bread's nice. Yeah, the bread's good. It's a good the bread's bun. Different from you know that. The onions, the pickles, the barbecue sauce, all fine. It's just the actual patty. Yeah, and it's whatever. just so much barbecue. Yeah. Like so, I said, I don't know if there's even any pickles. And we're gambling girls. We like to cover our bets. So we got some nuggets. No, there's some pickles on the other Oh, the first thing I did was bite into you. have my pickles <laughs> out there. Pickles. Oh, God. This thing's a mess. I can't. I had to re we had to rearrange it. It was sliding off the Yeah, bun. it was all over the place. The presentation is like <laughs> not the greatest. Yeah. Oh, gosh. But, but uh. Lemon. Mm -hmm. All the food smells. I can still smell your perfume. Yes, I can have. She's wearing Chloe. It smells so good. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, guys, you want to get your girl something pretty for Christmas? Get her mm -hmm. some Chloe perfume. Mm -hmm. Love it. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I'd be in a hurry to get the McRib again. No, I wasn't hurry to get the first time. <laughs> no, but I, I thought, you know what I mean? Like the McRib, it's like this, you know, like on the list of McDonald's items. Historical you phenomenon. Yeah, like it's like an iconic item that has come and gone over the years. Like I just, for me, I just had, had like higher expectations for this item. Mm -hmm. I don't set my expectations But then also high like the McRib, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know when it first came out, but like times have changed, quality of things have changed. So maybe it was better back in the day than it is now. I don't know. Let us know. Probably because I like, mean, food, McDonald's food used to be good. We used to like. Yeah. Run for it after school mm -hmm. or at lunchtime mm -hmm. would fly to a McDonald's to get cheeseburgers and fries and nuggies, which are still palatable. Mm -hmm. They're still okay. Because like, I just like, I you know with all the hype around this McRib, I thought, you know, like at least an eight or something. Yeah. I'd, I'd probably just give it like a six. I mean, it's not awful. No. So I wouldn't take it below a five, but. Look, I'll eat it, but I'm not in a hurry to go back and get it again. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, um, let's see how much this guy was. Looking for it. It was 15 Five, total. 569 for the McRib. Oh. Just as it is. <laughs> Not with <laughs> the other stuff we got. And a small fry is now $3. $2.99 yeah. for a small fry. <laughs> Isn't that something? 
And add a little bit more on the potato -y side today. That's what I was saying. The fries I got yesterday, or the day before yesterday. Let's see how the nuggets are. When I got them, they were very hot. And they were good. I was eating them on the way home. I saved a few for her, as to not be rude, because I figured she'd smell them. And by the time we got back to the car, they were cold and they tasted like wet green potatoes, like just mm -hmm. not good yeah so like i always say you got to eat it hot mm -hmm. you just got to eat it hot what was that the slickly bmw truck going up over the curb because oh. he doesn't want to drive around the building <laughs> <laughs> but these nuggets are a 10 out of 10. These nuggets are good to you mm -hmm. nuggets they're warm are they're hidden knock on wood no gristle bit yet mm -hmm. yeah, <laughs> but hitting. with the sauce the rib, not so much but I get the microb like a five or a six. Yeah. I'll give it a six because it doesn't taste bad. Mm -hmm. If it tasted bad, I would give it a five. Yeah. It just doesn't taste like anything. Yeah, which is like, like I said, like I'm not even getting the flavors from the pickle or the onion. It's just barbecue everywhere. And yeah. That's all you're getting. Right. That's and so it's much so barbecue. messy. I mean, the box is, I mean, it's insane. It's so messy. Yeah. It looks like a like if it was blood, it looks like a bloodbath. Like. Yeah, and like the construction wasn't that great. Like the onions and the pickle were falling off because there was so much barbecue. Yeah, like pickles were all on the one side of the sandwich, and the onion were all on the other side of the sandwich. We had to like reconstruct it so it was like an even bite. Mm -hmm. The barbecue sauce is smoky. I'm guessing is it this side? Is uh -uh. this this one? No, mm -mm. the one nope. that comes in the you know the because that's milder. This is sm out. this is heavier and smokier. Go ahead, try them. You'll see the difference. <laughs> this is more like barbecue ketchup. The sandwich is smokier, much smokier, which isn't a terrible right. thing. But this again, this is the um, McRib sauce. Mm. And we're trying the and other. This is the one that comes in the little cup. Mm. Awkward silence. Awkward oh, silence. yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this one's the McRib's a little more kicky. Yeah, a little kicky. Kicky! King of Queens. Yeah. I don't know. So. I just had like higher hopes. Yeah. No, we've been meaning to do it, so we did it. Yeah. I don't know. And our crumbles. We knew when we did crumble yesterday that that's not our biggest, like, fan based video yeah but there were some stuff some things on there we wanted to try mm -hmm. and you know so okay why not make a video of mm -hmm. it plus with all the vlogness videos there's like a little bit of pressure we need yeah 25 videos in 25 days yeah <laughs> so <laughs> that was just day three waste not want not right so <laughs> what yeah mm. what else mm -hmm. i don't really know what else not much else there is a oh taco bell was it December 19th, I think? Something, sometime this month, Taco Bell is releasing their, their chicken nuggets. Mm. Oh, yeah. So, and I think it has three dipping sauces, like something chipotle. Mm. There's a ranch one, and I think like jalapeno honey mustard or something like that. Mm. So, we're going to be trying those, I guess. See how those are. They kind of look like the, um, somewhat resembling like the KFC and the uh, Chick-fil-A nuggets. Like that type of breading. And not like Wendy's or uh, McDonald's breading. So. I remember working at McDonald's. We would constantly, we had uniforms in our little pockets. We would constantly be sticking nuggets in our pockets to eat. <laughs> they were so good. And I was always hungry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I feel like a couple of years ago, the McDonald's nuggets were not the greatest. No, the cat wouldn't even eat them. I didn't want it. I gave it to my cat. My cat's like, because the I think like the breading's different now. I think <laughs> like it's better, and I think like back in the day, like a couple years ago, like the breading was kind of like really oily, so it tasted like that chemical yeah. like, that you know. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Like these are much better than they used to be because yeah. I, I was like weary of getting nuggets for that for a minute. I'm like, oh, yeah. mm. you were about seven or eight. We had just moved out now, and they were not, they were not even edible. So you now, were somewhere between seven and eleven. But I think on the younger always, side. In McDonald's, I always get that that thing in my throat. So yeah, that burn from the chemicals. From the chemicals. Yeah, and it's not a, a fun thing. <laughs> mm -mm, not a fun thing. But so, mm. but we have lots more coming. 
Mm -hmm. We got more Taylor, more goodies, more food, mm -hmm. more fun. Mm -hmm. We had to do, like, guys, mm -hmm. a couple, maybe go back to Starbucks again, even though the drink videos don't do the greatest on here. Mm -hmm. But, because, you know, there's still some holiday drinks I want to try. The sugar cookie one, I want to try that one. I think there's, like, a hazelnut or chestnut something, like a praline type one. Well, to get that. So, I don't know. We'll have to see. We'll see. Uh -huh. See what comes around. So, so well, there that was you have that. It. And we'll show you this natural disaster. Yes, like it's a That's saucy. what's left. Like I mean, it's most of the sandwich is still there. Yeah, it's I a lot. Know. I might get I might make another run through for more nuggets. Honestly, yeah, the nuggets were so good today. <laughs> I've eaten like seven of hers already. And, I don't know the barbecue. Yeah, I just I could probably eat some more. So yeah. I'll probably just do that. Okay. So, yeah, nuggets are 10, McRib 5. Yeah. Um, Send us your comments. Some people love the McRib. Yeah. This is just us. We're not bashing. Like, it could have been the location we have gone to. Yeah, we've had. But it really wasn't yeah. lunchtime, though, either. Mm -mm. Like, there's, like, nobody in the drive-thru right now. Yeah. So, I don't know. We didn't go to Wexford. Sometimes we go to Wexford, we get a little better quality. Yeah. In general. Mm-hmm. We couldn't even the cheeseburger, because the last cheeseburger we had from here was... It was Inedible. overcooked. Yeah. It was like crispy on the outside. Like not good crispy, like crunching. Now that things are three, four dollars a pop, I will be going back in to get the money back for it next time. Mm -hmm. So, but yeah. This probably not because we're picking at it. But. Mm -hmm. but, um, yeah, that's our review on the McRib. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, um, yeah, you know what to do. Give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below if you have tried the McRib. Mm hmm if um you've like if you've had it previously and you get it now let us know if there's like a difference like if you can taste like you know like if there's differences or similarities or is it the same kind of you know let us know because like i said this is my first time having it so i don't really know mm -hmm. and then i'm guessing it's limited time so i don't know how long they're keeping this sandwich around excuse me and i think it just came out like this week mm -hmm. recently very recently so but yeah Thumbs don't know up. How long it'll be around. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, let us know what you want to see. What? And I want to have my younger fans leave leave the room for a minute because I want to say something to people my age. Oh boy! Would you look at this car behind me? He has a whole parking lot. <laughs> There's what a dozen parking spots around us. And he wants to park right there. And he parks in directly behind me. Like <laughs> there's a spot right next to us. Two spots there's three, over. There's three spots over here. All the spots back there. Uh. I don't know. It's like you want me to hit you when I back up, but you're trying to catch a case, maybe. Okay, that's all. That's that's for me and my um. What am what X? Am I Gen X? Yeah. yeah. All my Xers. <laughs> oh boy. All right, you guys. Thanks, we everybody. We will see you in the next one. We have other videos up on the channel. Go check those out. See you for four and what more. What did we just do? Where were we? What? Okay. Crumble. Yeah. Oh yeah. I forgot. All the days are one day to me. <laughs> But yeah, <laughs> Grand Hog Day for him. Yeah. <laughs> like I said, I can't remember what I had for dinner last night. Anyway. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. I'll see you in the next Thanks one. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Bye. Ring the bell. Yeah. Like, subscribe. To be notified. Bye. Right, see ya. Bye, guys.